I'm Mallory Safaste in these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. A driver in the I-695 crash that killed six construction workers last March is expected to serve 18 months. Malachi Brown pleaded guilty today for his role in the deaths. Prosecutors claimed Brown told police he was only going 60 miles per hour. Evidence suggests he was going 111 miles per hour at the time of impact. The state recommended the 18-month sentence as well as three years of supervised probation upon his release and 40 hours of community service. The state also recommends he not drive during the probation. His sentencing is scheduled for March 28th. The trial for Lisa Lee, the other driver involved, begins April 1st. Another crash on I-695 put a state trooper in the hospital today. It happened around 9 this morning on the outer loop near Providence Road. 62-year-old Carl Heinzman was apparently using his cell phone when he rear-ended a Kia causing a chain reaction crash into a Maryland State Police vehicle and Heinzman's car to catch on fire. He made it out safe, but the driver of the Kia and the trooper were both taken to the hospital. No word on how they're doing. Hey there, Maryland meteorologist Allie Blake, and we continue to see more clouds as we get into the rest of the week, starting with our overnight hours. Can't rule out an isolated flurry, more likely isolated rain showers as our cold front moves through. Winds pick up Thursday and skies dry out on Friday. Then we're watching for our potential winter system. Most of the day on Saturday could be a rain snow mix. Rain showers likely for our communities out east. It's likely in the next week where not only do temperatures mild on up, but we see our next system. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Mallory Safaste.